Tonight's panel is back, Katie, Peter, and Cliff. There's a lot more to William Barr than meets the eye. And, and I truly believe the Democrats won't coordinate. They're, they're going to be so hyper obsessed with the special counsel probe that they will, they will forget all of these other critical issues in Barr's past. I mean, what interests me is all the issues that there could be success with, mm -hmm. especially from a civil libertarian perspective, of war, of civil asset forfeiture, of the first step that in criminal justice reform, all the things where we could make some really good strides, mm -hmm. Barr is dead wrong on. And so that's what worries me. But it, it's at. interesting because you talk about that, but many of those strides have taken place during this administration, which mm -hmm. is still pretty young. And Obama, who ran as a civil libertarian, he was the one who was deporting people. He extended uh, the drug war. He, he wasn't good in terms of uh, really putting forth a, a federal policy on cannabis legalization. Mm -hmm. And the federal government and state governments were still very much butting heads in, in terms of drug policy. Yeah, and the warning that I give to so many individuals is, look, if you didn't want Obama reading your emails and reading your text messages and spying on you, then you should have that same standard for Trump. Let's he, restore he the program. He not only Amendment. invented the program with the help of, of the DEA and, and helped the NSA create a program that gathered all of that information warrantlessly, he also said at the time that the Patriot Act didn't go far enough.